Hello and welcome once again. This is Nelson Karaja for Global Oak Media. Today we've got a quick and easy tutorial on uh, how to fix your background uh, in a 3D environment uh, in After Effects so that your environment rotates with the camera. Sometimes um, it's a problem where you put your background, but when you move your camera, your camera doesn't seem to detect that you have a background. So today we want to see how to fix that. And it's actually quite easy. So let's get into it. I want to bring in uh, some assets here. Now, here we go. I want to start with uh, bringing in an asset so that we can see uh, exactly uh, what problem I'm trying to solve here. Let me bring in this house. Now here we are. I want to put it on the ground level. I want to go ahead and bring in this. I'll make that fit into my comp. Okay, and I think I'm gonna need it to be a bit much larger than this. So let me just scale it to 200. Have it that, and I'll also bring its uh, position to uh, the edge of my composition. Okay, now here we are. So let's have two views, and let's have this as top view, so that I can position uh, my assets properly. And I'll also take the mountain and drag it on Z space, so that I can have some space in front and I bring out my winter house out like that. Uh, I will go ahead and bring in another asset, uh, this plane wreckage, and I'll stick it here in the same composition on this side of the house, one end of the house. And let's go to the front. Let's push it down. This tutorial is about uh, what happens in this background here. Now, we there are two things here that uh, we need to take note of. Uh, one of the things that uh, we deal with is the issue of lighting, and that comes with like an environment map, a uh, HDR image. And I want to be able to use this same image. For example, if I came here and I brought uh, this one down there, we have uh, an environment, but I want you to see what happens when we put in our camera. If I come here and I put a camera, let's say, uh, let's see what happens with that. That's a 16 mm. Now, if I start moving this camera around, you see, it doesn't affect uh, the background at all. If I turn this around you realize it does not affect at all my my background here so what do we need to do to fix this this same file the hdr map can serve two purposes one as we now know we can actually use it for lighting so let's first of all put um an environment light the environment light cast shadows i'll put these shadows at 100 uh, percent darkness so we can see what we are working with now i want to come here and select that hdr map that dot exr which is our environment map and once we click that everything is going to adjust accordingly depending on uh, the lighting system that comes from this particular file now our environment has changed. We can increase the intensity. Let's perhaps put that at 135 just to see. Two things happened. Now our environment is actually reacting to this light. The other thing is you find that the moment we selected this file as our source uh, of lighting, it is switched itself from the background so we can no longer see it here. That happens automatically because ideally it should not be the one um, that should also be on the background, but let's see how we can go about that. So before I move on to that, let's rotate our light until we position our shadows. 
Now we need to obviously make sure that all our assets are doing what they ought to do. If you come to this and go to compositing options, you see like now here, one of the reasons why I can't get shadows here, here it shows that for this particular model, it says cast shadows off. Now that means no matter what kind of light we put here, if we don't turn this one on, it's not going to give us shadows. So that's the very first thing. We need to turn that on so that now this particular object will be able to cast shadows. See, the moment we do that, we already can see shadows here. So always check that your models, the ones that you want to cast a shadow, that that is actually enabled. If we come back to the environment light and we go to this one, we can now be able to position that shadow exactly where we want it to be. If you want it longer, you can go ahead and do that. If you want it to go to the other side, you can rotate uh, these settings until you get the look that you are going for. I actually just wanted to show uh, that if, for example, you only had one HDR uh, map and you want to use it here because ideally um, it, it should be the best thing to have so that the light that is causing shadows on your environment is also the same uh, that you have in your background because it's supposed to be your scene uh, the reflections and all that should be a mirror of what is in the environment. But now watch what happens here when we turn this one on. Now we do have our background, which is good. But now if you check here, once you come to the camera and you make any adjustment, you see you're rotating, but the background is not moving with it. Okay. It's not moving with it. It's not what we want. Uh, we want to be able to have this also react to the camera. So we're going to turn that one off, even though we are going to use that. And we want to use um, the same file, but now in a way that it actually is detected by our camera. So what we do is we come and we add a new solid uh, the comp size, it should be the same uh, size as your composition. The color doesn't really matter. Now we have that. Now I want to put it at the bottom. Okay, there we have. Now what we are going to do, we are going to come to this uh, particular uh, solid. It doesn't have to be 3D. As a matter of fact, we should uh, just leave it as it is. And we want to be able to use this particular file, the same one that we have used for our light. So here we come and we add CC environment and here at the environment, we select the .exr file, the same one we used uh, with our environment light. Now, even though it is not uh, visible here, it's been turned on, turned off. Now it will show up, give it some time to load. Okay, there we go. Now we have our environment uh, attached. Now if we go to the camera and we rotate it, you can see now your environment is now moving, is now being detected by your camera. So if we come here and we dolly in, Turn around, if you look at this, you can see the clouds here are now reacting to our environment. And you can actually just go around and you can actually see the rest of your 3D environment, which is coming from the HDR map. Now, short of that, um, you would have to do other things. I know sometimes I have had to duplicate this layer and push it back in this space, uh, but you know, and turn it into 3D, but you'll always find that sometimes you rotate your camera and it ends up revealing the edges where there is nothing 
uh, for the background. So I thought that this could be of help to somebody. So basically what we are saying in a nutshell is that this environment light plus your background, which we could have called this one our background, if I could just remain to name that, background environment. Okay, so this environment and your light could share the same file. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this quick tutorial. Uh, my name is Nelson Karaja for Global Oak Media. If you find our tutorials helpful, kindly subscribe and support our work. And uh, also hit that like button and also the notification bell. We really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Until next time, have a wonderful time.